even the game's brightest star might just have had his last World Cup outing. See, coming off a spectacular season that saw him win the Champions League and get crowned the best football player on the planet, Karim Benzema headed to Qatar with the rest of the Les Blues, with his head high. This is coming after years of being frozen out of the national team, an incident that saw him miss out on France's historic victory at the last edition of the tournament in Russia. And quite unfortunately for the prolific forward, he picked up an injury after the first game, in the group stages of the ongoing finals in Qatar, and has since been allowed to depart from the squad. But despite his absence, the French had a great run to reach the final. And even though France lost it there, Benzema will still have a silver medal in his trophy room. But at 34 years of age, Karim Benzema is also clearly in the league of players who might never star in a World Cup tournament again after this one. Like Benzema, this 34-year-old Spaniard midfield maestro and football legend might have also played in his last World Cup for La Roja in this year's finals in Qatar. Despite no longer being the young player that he once was when he debuted for Spain during the 2010 finals, Sergio Busquets remains the number one in his position, both for Spain and Barcelona, has become a legend and neither team are yet to find his replacement. When La Roja became victorious in the 2010 World Cup tournament, Busquets played in every match and was instrumental all throughout the tournament. Being the engine room of the midfield and controlling the pace of every game, with Spain recently getting knocked out by Morocco in an upsetting encounter in the round of 16, Busquets has not had the best run in what is likely his last World Cup appearance for Spain. The brilliant midfielder would be 38 years old when the next World Cup in North America comes around. And even if Spain still can't have his replacement, he's not very likely to make the squad. Like Busquets, this mega star has also been starring for his country since the 2010 World Cup, but this journey now appears to have reached an end. There are only a few players who have had his kind of spectacular career that Engel de Maria has had, playing for the very best teams all across Europe, from Real Madrid to PSG, Manchester United and now Juventus. But for his international career, it's been a string of disasters and heartbreaks for Di Maria, with the Elbe Celestes. At least not until the most recent victory at the last Copa America tournament. And with their spirits still high, Di Maria has again joined up with the rest of the Argentinian squad and is presently giving his all for the side. With Argentina now through to the semi-finals, hopes are high that the squad which boasts one of the greatest players football has ever seen, Lionel Messi, could finally lift the much-coveted trophy. But whatever the result might be, this will most certainly be Di Maria's last World Cup outing for Argentina, as the 34-year-old has often hinted that his time as a player is very close to an end. Now, while many football fans might not be as moved by the news of this being Di Maria's last World Cup outing, one former teammate of his would leave the footballing world devastated by announcing the end of his international career. Di Maria and Cristiano Ronaldo were a few close friends while the duo shared the same dressing room at Real Madrid, especially with him assisting a lot of Ronaldo's jaw-dropping goals. Ronaldo became a goal-scoring machine during their time together and the duo has since gone on to have stellar careers with other teams. With Portugal's recent ouster by Morocco in the ongoing FIFA World Cup finals in Qatar, Ronaldo's dream of bringing the most prestigious football trophy home has ended in yet another failure, despite this making it the star's fifth attempt. With the Portuguese star turning 38 years old in another two months, making it to another World Cup is a near impossible feat for even a player as strong and as determined as him. And as much as we hate to admit it, he no longer looks as good as he used to about a decade ago, leaving the general feeling that the football icon might just draw the curtain on his international career, and possibly his time as a footballer, especially after his explosive interview berating his old club just before the finals in Qatar began. But unlike Ronaldo, his greatest rival made his dream come true with his last try in the World Cup in Qatar. Lionel Messi finally filled his trophy cabinet with the achievement he was missing. And he did it in style with his last attempt. 
Already 35 years old, Messi had once drawn the curtain on his international career in 2016 after missing out on four major finals in the space of nine years, and only returned after much imploration by the Argentinian Football Federation. Since his return, Messi has gone on to lift the Copa America for the very first time and has now done his magic by helping his team lift the World Cup trophy by scoring seven goals and adding three assists. By becoming the first player ever to win the Golden Ball Award of the World Cup twice, it's hard to deny the fact that Messi is having one of the most glamorous footballing careers in the history of the sport.